Today, I will be unboxing the new Panasonic Lumix G85, and this is the successor to the Panasonic G7. The design and features are very similar to the G7, but the main reason why I bought this camera and I upgraded is because this camera has in-body image stabilization. So that's going to be really handy. Let's say if I'm using a lens that doesn't have built-in IS, well, I can take advantage of the camera's stabilization. So when I pan or when I'm hand-holding the camera, I should get some nice smooth stabilized footage. And it should almost look like I'm using the camera on a tripod. Also, if you have a compatible Panasonic lens that has image stabilization, you can pair it with the G85 and take advantage of dual IS. So both image stabilization systems will be working and I'm really excited to try that out and I should get some really nice smooth footage. So I'll show you that in my review. But today I'm just going to be unboxing this camera. If you want to take a quick look at some of the features of this product, just pause your screen right now. Otherwise, let's get into the unboxing. All right, so on the top, we have some instruction manuals. All right, let me put this down and see what we get inside the box. So here is the battery charger, and it uses the same batteries as the Panasonic Q7. I love that, so I don't need to buy extra batteries. Here is a micro USB cable. Here's the battery for the Panasonic G85. Here's a camera strap, which I probably won't use. I think that's it for the box. And here is the Panasonic Lumix G85. So right off the bat, it feels a little bit heavier than the Panasonic G7. I will be making a comparison video between the G85 and the G7, so stay tuned for that. Um, the front, as I said, looks very similar. Here's the Micro Four Third sensor that is image stabilized. Here's a quick look at the top. And you will notice that the SD card slot has been relocated to the side. It's no longer on the bottom where the battery compartment is. And on the other side, we have an HDMI port, USB port, microphone port, and remote port. So the microphone port has been moved from up here to down here. And I heard that's a little of an inconvenience, but I'll talk about more of that in my review. On the bottom, we have our tripod mount and our battery door. On the back, it's very similar to the G7 again. It's almost a mirror image. We also have our pop-out articulating LCD screen, which I love. And I love how you can flip it towards you while you're recording so you can see yourself. So that was just a really quick unboxing of the new Panasonic Lumix G85. I can't wait to test out the in-body image stabilization and also dual IS. Um, let me know in the comments what type of videos you would like me to make with this camera. I also plan on making a comparison between this and the G7. And that's about it. Let me know in the comments what type of videos you want to see. And I'll see you all next time. And yes, I just noticed I forgot to take the tag off of my new windbreaker.